homeschooling this has been my most requested video and today i am really excited to share with you the seven things i wish i had known before we started homeschooling hi my name is Susie, and welcome to our homestead on this channel we're all about organizing prioritizing and budgetizing at home we have four kids the eldest just turned six and we have twins who just turned four and our last one just turned two we have been homeschooling for the last one and a half to two years now and the first thing i wish i had known before we started homeschooling was that we did not have to figure it out all the way before we started because you know sometimes when people hear that you're homeschooling they want to know okay so how long are you going to be homeschooling you're going to homeschool up to what what age are you ever going to take them to school and there's this pressure to want to have everything laid out on the table but we realized that it it doesn't have to be that way so what we did is we decided that according to the research we had done we would homeschool for the initial early stages of education which is kindergarten and grade one so our first one son is almost done with grade one and by the time he's done with grade one we will have decided on the next step we don't have to know everything from the beginning and that is okay and it gave us a lot of peace and we're just taking it one step at a time and landing on the go the second thing i wish i had known before i started homeschooling was that it is very important to seek wisdom from those who have gone ahead we spoke to a lot of people we spoke to people who have taken their kids to school people who have decided to homeschool people who decided to homeschool and then took their kids to school and vice versa and it is so important because you get to see so many angles before you make that decision but also we also learned that as much as you get wisdom from so many people and from so many quarters from the internet from youtube videos and all that it is so important to make the decision according to what works best for your family so we decided seek wisdom but at the end of the day choose what works for you because every family is different the third thing i wish i had known was the importance of reverse engineering this is basically having the end in mind before you start something i know this is a bit contradictory to point number one but let me explain so what we always have in mind is what do we want to gain for our kids and for our family at the end of it all and this helps us as we make decisions this helps us to decide what kind of curriculum to use what kind of schooling to use what kind of opportunities that we want to present to our kids and having the end in mind acts sort of like you know having a true north we know where we want to go with our kids we know where, where we want to go with our family and this helps us to decide what kind of opportunities and exposure we want our kids to have the fourth thing was the importance of knowing the government requirements as far as education is concerned so in kenya right now the law requires that your child be in, be enrolled in a, an education system so the law is a bit ambiguous as far as homeschooling is concerned but currently there's a petition going on in court to make sure that everything is clear as far as homeschooling is concerned in the meantime because of this ambiguity we decided that the best thing for us would be to enroll our kids in a school that allows homeschooling so currently we are enrolled under the school of tomorrow which is a school in Kenya that allows for homeschooling so as far as the law is concerned we are covered and that we are also able to homeschool our kids at home so the fourth thing would be to know the law of the land in which you're living and make sure you abide by the law and cover yourself but as i say there's a petition going on concerning homeschooling in kenya and concerning removing that slight ambiguity that is in the constitution to allow for people to homeschool in whichever they in whichever way they would like and if you're finding any value in this video please subscribe and remember to share with a friend who might also find value in this content so the fifth thing i wish i had known before we started homeschooling was that we did not need a dedicated classroom we did not need so many so much materials we did not need a classroom that looks like a normal classroom in any other school actually what we decided was to keep it very simple because at the end of the day all kids need our learning materials and a teacher and a willing teacher you can find so many other things in your own house that you can use to supplement and to complement the school that the schooling that you are doing at home 
So that was quite a relief for us because then we didn't feel the pressure of having to have a school desk and a school table and a blackboard and all that. We just decided to keep it simple and it has been such a relief for us. The sixth thing I wish I had known before I started homeschooling was how important it is to keep records. Records are so important because at the end of the day, this is the proof of the education that is going on in your home. So we decided and we learned that we shouldn't just do things in an ad hoc way. We should actually keep everything that our children do in class in case anyone ever wants proof that our children have been going to school. So we have records of all the activities that they do and this is also good because it will help later on if they want to apply to other institutions of learning they will have records for that so it is very important and we adhere to this every day the seventh thing i had not known before we started homeschooling was that i did not need to do it myself for us this was such a game changer because normally when you hear about homeschooling most people will think of homeschooling moms and we just thought that that's what was going to happen that i as the mom was the one who was going to homeschool our kids and by the way i have a bachelor in education so it was like obvious that yeah you know the mom is the one who's going to homeschool but the more we spoke to people the more we realized actually no it doesn't have to be that way because i am in full-time employment it's shift work but it's still full-time employment but my husband is self-employed and he works from home so i mean it just had not clicked that he could do the homeschooling and the day it clicked the way the day we realized that he could actually do it it was such an eye opener it was such a game changer and let me tell you god works in mysterious ways because he is so good at it and i have a feeling i would not have been as good at homeschooling as my husband is because he is so patient he is so understanding with the kids and it's just been amazing he has done such a fantastic job with our kids and yanni he's just, he's awesome so yeah that was the seventh thing that we learned and it's been so awesome and i have one bonus point and thank you for sticking all the way to the end of this video and my bonus point what i did not know before we started homeschooling was how much fun it was going to be we are having a blast with our kids it's so amazing to see your child who did not know their ones from their twos to see them actually learning this thing to see them growing and changing today i was just looking at my son who is in grade one doing addition i mean he's only six and he's doing some serious addition and i was like i did not know that when i was six years old so it's been so amazing we're having so much fun spending so much time with our kids and it's so amazing to see them just grow up together our kids are so close and it's it's really it's been a lot of fun and because of homeschooling we have been able to do so much together as a family because we are the sort of like the masters of our own time and our own schedule so yeah it's been fun and we really thank god for this opportunity to be able to homeschool our kids thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have found value in this video and if you have please consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching 